Murray, congratulations, a Scottish Cup winner. How does it feel? Incredible. It's, I was just saying there, it's, it's such a big day and I, I was actually calm this morning, everyone was asking me how I'm feeling and you've just got to treat it as any other game, of course it's not. Um, what a season we've had, the feeling. I had every confidence that we could do it today without being overconfident. We knew if we played well, we've had a good record against a very good Hibs side this year. And just to actually get the job done, I thought we were, were deserved winners and, and what a feeling it is. What a feeling. Of course, you, you want to talk about the team, but on a personal note to start with, obviously missing out on that day in 2014 and earlier this season as well. How special a moment was it to get back on that yeah, pitch? It's, it's, honestly, it's, it's, it means so much to me. Um, and I said quite openly about the, the League Cup earlier in this year that I was more gutted for my family. Um, it was such a big build-up to beat Hibs 3-0 here and we were looking forward to the final and to miss out by, by a bit of bad luck. Um, and the manager said straight after, he goes, we'll just have to get to the Scottish Cup final. And at the time, <laughs> at the time I thought, well, that's a long shot. Here we are. So to be honest, this is, this is pretty much for my family. I'm so happy for myself. But my little girl, my mum and dad are my biggest fans, like anyone. They, they took me all over the country when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And it doesn't matter if I've had a stinker, I was the best player in the park. So they're my biggest fans. And to be fair, this is for them. They're all down in my local pub, the Toe Bar, in a place called Innerleithen. So, <laughs> as I say, this one's for them and, and I hope they have a brilliant night. I'm sure you can't wait to, to see them as well Yeah, after I'll, I'll FaceTime them as soon as I can. My wee girl, my mum, my dad, everybody. My, my brothers, my sisters. It, it, it really... I'm so happy for myself, it's been a long road, I'm 33 now so I don't know how many more chances I'll get, I'm so happy and I'm so proud of the boys, what a season it's been in. and I mean you can't say we didn't deserve it today, I thought we were unbelievable, we defended so good um, and as I keep saying I'm just so happy that I've, I've made my family and stuff proud. Yeah, as a St Johnson hero amongst the fans, where does this rank up in your spell, you, it can't get much better than no, this? No, I mean as a season this is... This is you, if somebody had said at the start of the year you'd, you'd finish in Europe, finish in fifth in the league um, and winning two cups, I mean I think we're only the second team outside the old firm to do it it's, we were just laughing and joking there saying where do we go from here, there's a few boys talking about retiring so, um, listen, I think the manager deserves so much credit because at the start of the season he stuck by us, he didn't change his shape, he wanted, a, he wanted to play and he, was, he had so much confidence in us and maybe at times you're going is this the way to play he had so much faith in us, he had so much confidence and for a young manager for his first job to do that is unbelievable for him. So I'm so happy for him as well, Maka, Alec, Paul, everybody. Um, I mean the chairman, you see them all here, it means so much. We left Perth this morning, Perth had a buzz about it yeah. um, and we can't get back, can't wait to get back there and celebrate the, with them this weekend. I'm sure plenty of people will be wanting to ask the manager what the secret is but as a player, what is it that, about him that makes it so special? And he, tr he, tr he trusts his players, he has every confidence confidence in us and he wants us to go out and express ourselves, he wants us to enjoy it um, if we're not doing it he'll tell us, don't get me wrong, he'll let us know but he trusts us um, and he has faith in the people with what he's telling us to do, to do their jobs collectively um, and individually so um, a lot of people have asked what the difference is for the start of the season to now there isn't a lot because he's just kept doing the same things, it maybe took us a few weeks to get, get into the system and things like that but he's had so much faith in us and it's shown, it's um, and again, I don't know where he goes for you. <laughs> I felt like we've barely actually spoke about that, what happened on the pitch, but that, I want to talk about that penalty moment in the second half as well. When moments like that happen, how do you keep the mentality and the mindset Yeah, the it's, it's hard because you hear, I heard the, all the Hibs people in the crowd that yeah. gave them a lift, um, and it couldn't give them a lift, but I thought we reacted well to it because I remember I, I half had my eyes closed and I was just thinking, score that, and it, it's a long road back for Hibs. And, I mean, the last 10 minutes, it's probably the longest 10 minutes of my career, and I've seen the board going up with five minutes, and... You're just always wary because if Hibs do score so late, they've got the momentum going into extra time. But um, Xander's probably not had a save to make in the second half. Um, and as I keep saying, the boys deserve it. I thought we were the better team on the day and um, we'll enjoy it, that's for sure. Yeah.